The Guyana Association of Women Lawyers Report and Gender in Media Booklet, funded through the Association and UNICEF, followed a series of interviews with long-standing media practitioners and observation carried out at media houses in print, online, radio and broadcast. Presenting the report on Tuesday at the National Library, GAL member Rosemary Benjamin Noble said sensitization and awareness exercises for reporting on gender-based issues are vital. That there is insufficient evidence that the media practices gender sensitivity in its reporting, with the primary focus being on creating sensational news. There is insufficient focus on women's rights. It was stated that realities of gender are not highlighted in the media coverage, including challenges faced by women to be a part of decision-making in their lives and homes. It has been determined that people are oftentimes pressured to conform to gender roles and stereotypes portrayed in media, marketing and advertising. Benjamin Noble said it is because of these stereotypes that women are subjected to certain careers. This, she believes, further perpetuates the idea that women are less sufficient for certain career paths. Nonetheless, she said that in several instances, reporting on gender-based violence and other gender-related issues are highlighted but not expanded to highlight the capabilities of organizations to provide interventions. Media houses are encouraged to be mindful of the cartoons and other articles published that can lead to stereotyping. It is well agreed that cartoons are a useful tool in messaging. I'm sure every day we look for the cartoon in the newspaper. Um, cartoons also have the ability to influence the thinking of a reader regardless of age or gender and regardless of the subject. It is also a genre that has the capability to be positively or negatively impactful on the perspective of a reader. And Stereotypes can leave people feeling excluded and inadequate and these narratives can entrench harmful gender norms which leads disproportional impact on women and girls. The Guyana Press Association, GPA, hosted several workshop training for media operatives to better understand reporting on gender-based violence and gender reporting. It is encouraged that refresher trainings are conducted, especially with the turnover of employees in media. Reporting for the newsroom, Lazina Yearwood.